Class, where have you brought me to this time? It doesn't look like Blackpool to me. Ah, oh, there's a door over there. Hang about. At last, Dr. Weasel. Oh, I'm late for something. I was beginning to fear you had lost yourself. Well, uh, even I would find it hard to lose myself in a corridor, especially if I'm propelled by the mental energy of so many distinguished time weasels. No, oh, I don't know. You seem to have a great talent for straying from the straight and narrow. Would it be too much to ask what all this is about? The accused will remain silent until invited to speak. The accused? Do you mean me, love? I call upon the Valyard to open the case. By order of the Hay Council, this is an impartial inquiry into the conduct of the accused person known as Dr. Wahizel, who is charged that he, on diverse occasions, has been guilty of adventures unbecoming to a time weasel. Innocent by means of temporary insanity. He is also charged with on diverse occasions, of transgressing the first law. It is my unpleasant task, Madame Inquisitor, to prove to the inquiry that the Doctor is an incorrigible bungler in terms of narrative, plotting and coherent resolutions. Yes, I see, Valiard, that it is on the record that over the past ten years and eight seasons that the Doctor has faced numerous adventures, and that some were actually quite good. That is quite so, my lady, and I shall contend that the High Council, BAFTA, and audiences have shown too great a leniency on numerous occasions. Thus, we shall attempt to ascertain through the time scope which of the Doctor's adventures are the very worst. Don't I get a say in this? Is there no one who will defend me from these flagrant and unprovoked blandishments of this untrustworthy looking bugger in a silly hat? Oh yes, dear Doctor. To see that your interests are fully protected, I have arranged for a court-appointed defender to represent you. Ah, hmm, yeah, uh, thank you, but no, love. I've, uh, I've been through such similar inquiries in the past, uh, mostly to do with dumping t TARDIS and disabled parking spaces at Waitrose, mind you, but uh, all the same, I think it would be easier if I spoke for myself. That has been taken into account, Dr. Weasel. Counsel for the defence, are you ready to proceed? Ah, oh, yes, yes indeed, eh? Ah, uh, we are? Oh yes, Alonze and all that sort of thing. Oh yes, fantastic! Oh, bloody Nora. You needn't sound so flaming cheerful about it, you lot. Oh, anyway, right, you in the silly hat. How's this all gonna proceed? Uh, we have, uh, through consultation with the Matrix, selected the examples of your eight worst adventures. Each we matched against another, and we will progress until the very worst of your transitions against taste, rationality, and quality entertainment are exposed. And then... Yes? Don't leave me in suspenders. That was a dramatic pause, you paltry excuse for a time weasel. And then, once we know the depth to which you have sunk, this inquiry will decide whether or not it is better for the universe to erase you from history itself. You don't mean. Uh, that's right, Doctor. You are on trial for your very existence. <laughs>